One of the exciting things about biological problems is you can start with a question and it can take you in many different directions. Schistosomiasis is an extremely important disease to tackle. It falls into the category of neglected tropical diseases. It's a terrible disease. Hundreds of millions of people get infected. But at the root of this disease is this parasite that swims around in water bodies and infects people. And one of the key aspects of that infection cycle is its swimming ability. I was intrigued by the fact that it, it was swimming in a completely different way. This was unlike anything that I had seen before. So we reduced the seemingly complex motion of this parasite into the most basic form, both a theoretical model, which we called a T-swimmer, and its robotic cousin, which we built in the lab. The swimming of the organism is based on the organism's unique ability to tune the stiffness of its forked structure at the end of its tail to break down such a complicated organism into simple parts. We had to develop our own custom image analysis software to extract quantitative data about how they bend their body, how they rotate their head, how fast they move. The robo was really a platform for us to test some of the ideas and hypotheses that we had about how this parasite was swimming. On the face of it, it looks like I'm trying to make a robo which swims like a parasite, but the truth was I was building a robo to actually understand how the parasite swims. And we ended up choosing corn syrup because it's 10,000 times more viscous than water, which ensures that the physics that this robot uh, experiences is the same as what happens to the actual microorganism. We have started by focusing on the microscale physics and we now want to connect it to the macroscale ecology of how these parasites are transported in an open water body and how they manage to find their way to a human. We haven't solved all the puzzles, but we have some very key answers and we're taking some of these insights now back in the field. The challenge is ecological elimination of the disease itself. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.